Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name's Harry and this is Technic tutorial number 12. Um, and this tutorial, uh, if I can find my jetpack, it's just out of power. Um, this tutorial is going to be on. Uh, it's going to be on red power. Um, basic red power. Uh, last episode I promised you basic red power. So I have learned some red power skills and I am doing some red power. Um, I'm not brilliant at it as I am with industrial craft and build craft and other things in the uh, Technipack. Well, I'm not brilliant at them but I, j I know them. Um, and I know how to play the game with them. Uh, with red power, I've really only had a little bit of practice if that, if you can call it that. Um, <coughs> also, I want to apologise about my cold. Uh, I've got a cold and it is really annoying uh, because it makes my videos sound all nasally and stupid. But first, you uh, to start off in uh, red power, you need to grab yourself some clay from your nearest clay deposit. Uh, mostly found underwater, they're very rarely found uh, on the surface and that's in game, normal minecraft and also in this pack but obviously with the uh, Sfax Pure BD craft um, it's got a nice little new texture to it but still quite nice um, I wonder if we can turn that waypoint off uh, where is it? off because I put it up there last episode and I forgot to alter it. But yeah, first of all you need some clay and this clay will need to be cooked into bricks in any type of furnace you have. A crappy little stone furnace, an electric furnace, an induction furnace, even a dark matter furnace if you're watching that video and you've just never tampered with red power before and you wanted to give it a go. I know uh, Duncan of the Yogscast has done some videos on this but I won't be following his videos entirely. Uh, I don't follow them anyway, it's just uh, through him I learned to play Tech It um, and I started playing it more because uh, I didn't really understand it before I started watching his videos. So, uh, you need to cook this up in your furnace. Um, you will need as many as it, hang on, I can't be asked doing that. I'm just going to let them run to there for now and I will shove the rest of these eight in. Um, okay. Next, actually, I'm not sure what I can do here. Uh, you will also need. Okay, I've got nickelite, that's fine. This is all the stuff from last time. Uh, you'll need some redstone and some iron, which you can smelt. Uh, let's go and pick all these up. Um, let's see. Okay, let's make these into brick blocks. We need two more, and this is the first th thing which you want to make. It is uh, called a alloy furnace. Um, I'll see you in a second. Pretty sure it's an alloy surface. Surface. So, <laughs> ugh. Uh, furnace. Alloy furnace. I cannot speak today. Alloy furnace, um, and it's just made with a sort of like a chest of bricks, basically. Um, now this you will want to put somewhere um, which isn't all this stuff what's in here oh god hmm where can I put this this is all like industrial craft and build craft and stuff really should have made another building um, that's great we'll just stick it down like here for now um, Oh god no, because then those things are going to go into it. Let's hope you can break it. Yeah. Um, stick it there. This is an alloy furnace and basically you can uh, fuel it. Uh, I can't use coal just for the sake of my let's play. Will Mobius work? Probably not, will it? Um, wood, hopefully. See if wood works. Um, and if you combine redstone with iron in your furnace, 
We'll just wait for that for a second whilst I put this Mobius back. Not in there. What am I doing? Um, whilst I put this Mobius back into a chest which I cannot find. Um, you get these things called red alloy in ingots. Um, these are the ingots which are made, um, which are used to make the red alloy wire in uh, in the red power mod. Um, obviously, I, I can't show it you in my hand because it's not textured properly, but it's very handy stuff. Um, it's like normal redstone carries redstone current. Um, except it can travel a lot further. I don't know the exact um, exact amount of uh, places it travels. Uh, it could, I think, it might be about sixty. They may have nerfed that. Uh, I'm not sure, but it could be about sixty, um, which is a he hell of a lot further than uh, normal redstone. Um, Okay, there we go. Um, it's just just an example that you can you can power it just normally like you can power redstone. Breaks with your hand. Um, can run up walls, which obviously you've seen is very very nice. Uh, can it run over surfaces like? Yes, it can <laughs> run over machines. You can have a nice little present machine here. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it's basically like the redstone of uh, the red power mod. It's quite expensive, as you probably noticed just there. For every one iron ingot it uses, it uses up four redstone. So it is quite expensive, but I think it's worth it if you're going to be uh, messing around with things like, um, like if you're doing lamps and stuff like that. Which uh, makes me move on to the second uh, part of this tutorial, which is lamps. Now, I need to see if I've got any bones. Here we go. I'm not sure I've got any other dyes. Here we go. I've got some yellow and some indigo. So, we'll grab some of that. Um, not sure I can create any other dye. Cancel. C. Okay. Let's get some indigo dye and some yellow dye and we'll get some bone meal as well because that makes the white dye now. Can we make anything? There we go, light blue dye. Uh, what with the yellow? No, I didn't think so. So we'll make one more light blue dye. Just make two more, screw it. There we go. Okay, we've got our dyes now. Um, for these, this, <laughs> um, these lamps, you will need to create these things called uh, something I've forgotten uh, entirely for the moment. But basically, you need uh, a redstone, one glowstone, and then the type of dye which you want. Uh, so, say a blue dye gets you blue, and it's this stuff's called lumar, which you use to make the uh, lamps. You will need some glass for this, so let's grab some of that now. Um, and then you can basically make any type of dye which you want, uh, any type of this Lumar stuff which you want. So we will make some yellow Lumar, we'll make some white Lumar, depending on the type of light uh, dye you put in, different dye comes out, and then we can make some light blue Lumar as well, um, like that. So we've got the different types of Lumar. Uh, you can obviously create all the dyes uh, with the type of Lumar, um, which, is, which is quite nice. Um, and yeah, with this uh, Lumar now, uh, you basically want to put it at the top in your crafting table, put six glass around the outside and then put two redstone, oh maybe not, what have we done, oh sorry, you need um, six glass, one redstone and two of the Lumar, and you can see a light blue Lumar gets you a light blue lamp, and that's, that's the first thing which you can create, um, a lamp, uh, well it's not the first thing you can create, but it's uh, it's one of the things you can create, and it's basically a lighting method to Minecraft, which um, isn't torches and uh, is a bit more. It's better than torches. Well, it's not better. It's exactly the same as torches. It might light up more than torches. I'm not sure. Have to look that up. Uh, next thing is a white lamp. 
obviously made with the white lumar which is made out of the bone meal can you guess what blue lumar is going to make uh, i think you probably can you got it a blue lamp um, and with the last one which is yellow lumar again you can probably guess yellow lamp and if i just show you here on the lamp if you type that in these are all the different types of those are the two normal minecraft lamps uh, which you get and these are all of the different colors of lamps we're not going to get any because we've got enough for now four or four will be good uh, obviously you can't stack them because they're different colors and yeah i will show you this now so say you wanted a nice little lamp set up on the ceiling with a few different colors then you just shove those lamps on the ceiling you can then ugh, because this is such a good wire you can then run it along each type of lamp um, let's hope you don't have to put it over the top we'll have a look in a second and you guys can follow me from there put it over the types of uh, lamps we just need to create some more here we've got some more red alloy ingots so we'll just create some more of the wire um, let us go down the wall and let us say that we I can say let us say we want to switch up here a light switch we need to go across the top of the lamps I think no. Yeah, there we go. Just need to put it on the side of the lamp. Uh, and obviously, you can uh, start connecting them up um, differently. You could have two from this side and two from the other side of your house. Or you can just have them, obviously, like this. Sh probably should have done it along the floor. It would have made more sense. A little bit easier. Uh, but look, as you can see we've got a little light system going on here it doesn't look the neatest um, but I'm sure you guys will be able to figure out a nice way to uh, connect the uh, red alloy wire up so that you can make a nice little pattern going on um, you can create sort of hanging lamps with the redstone wires tra uh, traveling down maybe a fence or something if it works on fences but yeah those are the lamps so actually I'm just gonna leave the lamps on for now just uh, just as a mark of the tech, the uh, red red power goodness. If we stick that, does that work? No. Um, doesn't really matter, but it's just annoying me. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Um, okay. So now let us move on to something else, and I'll have a little cutscene. <laughs> See you in a second, guys.